the very first question is to ask yourself, what exactly do you want? Right, like if the end goal is to make enough money to keep your wife at home so that you could be a patriarch, a father that protects and provides for his family, then in a way it doesn't matter how you get there. It doesn't matter what you do. The ultimate goal is to achieve this situation for your wife and for your family. The real question then becomes, not what do I become great at, right? That comes secondary, it's later. It's how much money do I need to make so that I can have that situation, right? The goal isn't to, so I was on, I was on the call with uh, actually a couple of things. I did, I watched the Andrew Tate video today because people didn't ask me about Andrew Tate and he made some really good points. I think the guy is smart, you know? I just don't watch too many other people YouTube videos so I just didn't know. But he made a really good point about building a business and he had like a chalkboard and he showed like two different things. He was like, most people go into business spending money. He's like, they buy business cards, they buy an expensive website, they buy a bunch of stuff, they create a bunch of products, they do, and he's like, they, they spend all this money and all this time and zero money is coming in. And then he showed another thing. He said, this is a business where you make money. And then he gave a really simple way to ask people for money. You don't even have to have a product. And he says, you buy, you get the product afterwards, you deliver it once you get the money. He says, get the money. If you're not getting money, you're not in a business. So most people like you are thinking about, oh, skill sets, what things that I need to do and where do I need to get or how do I need to be? When really it's like, no, how much money do you need? And that's not a sexy answer because most people are like, oh no, I wanna save the world. I wanna do something I'm passionate about, but you're not even passionate about anything and it's okay, you don't need to be, but you need money. So know what you do? You put aside all of your all of your sense that you need to be passionate or excited or have a desire and do something that makes the money that you need. That's it. It's like it's it's almost too simple. But most people never ask themselves that. Most people never ask themselves, how much money do I need in order to live the life I want to live? Figure out what the dollar amount that you need is first. Then think about what you can sell because all everything's about selling. There's no job, there's no non-job, there's no business without an exchange. What can you sell that can bring you the income that you need in order to keep your wife at home? Be 100% rational about it, not emotional, purely rational. I was watching clips from this movie um, Limitless yesterday. You guys ever see that movie Limitless? The guy, he, he takes a pill and then all of a sudden like he becomes a genius. So, but the scene in the movie was like, Okay, now he's limitless, right? Like he could do anything. He's creative, he's intelligent, he's charismatic, he's got like, he could do anything. And so he just, he figures like, okay, what can I do to make the most amount of money in the shortest period of time? And he was purely logical about it, purely mathological about it, because he has a high IQ now. This is a high IQ question. And so, and I'm not advising you to do this because I don't know anything about the stock market, but he was like, the stock market. And so he goes in and starts playing on the stock market on his, on his computer and he doubles his money. Then he quadruples his money. And like seven days later, he went from like having $16 to $60,000. And he's like, okay, I need to get more money so I can keep doubling it. Cause he, cause what did he decide to master? Not something sexy, not something fun, not something he was passionate about. He decided to master something that was going to make him a great income. So that's what you got to think of it that way. Like you have a high IQ because you took a limitless pill and now you're being purely rational about what it's going to take to make the money that I want to get. You see, what I'm, you see where I'm going with it? Porn. 68% of church going men watch it secretly, hiding this vice from their wife. For other men, it's alcohol or drug use. Are you willing to risk your marriage, family, and finances for sinful pleasures and vice? Or are you ready to fight back? If you're a married Christian businessman or entrepreneur caught in the clutches of drinking, drugs, or jerking off, realize that every moment spent in these vices is literally destroying your life. Is this the man God called you to be? To live like this? If you're ready to go to war against vice and take your life back, here's my advice. Click the link in this video or visit waronvice.com to book a call with me to see if we're a good fit for going into battle together. I'll see you on the inside.